Hey guys, what's up? Gladly here. Today I want to take a look at the cooking system in Breath of the Wild. I'll show you some of the best places to farm different ingredients, and then I'll show you how to cook those ingredients for maximum effect. These locations and recipes are really easy, and you can come back to them again and again to always have the best food available. I'll be covering health and stamina recovery foods, as well as stat boost foods, including all these six categories. Attack bonus, defense bonus, speed bonus, health recovery and extra hearts, stamina recovery and extra stamina, and stealth bonus. You can skip ahead in the video to find the ingredients or recipes that you want, but for now, let's get started and find some tasty ingredients. First off, let's head to the Moglatan Shrine on the Satori Mountain. This mountain contains several different ingredients, including some durians, some silent princesses, some endura carrots, and some fleet lotus seeds. First, we're gonna head down to this little grove here, which contains several durian trees. Durians are an amazing item to make health recovery food, and they even give you extra hearts when you cook with them. When you're done gathering, head back to the shrine. From the shrine, we're gonna head straight out this time, down into this uh, other little area. And right here, you'll find a couple of enduro carrots on the ground. Enduro carrots are used for making stamina recovery and uh, extra stamina food, and they can even be fed to your horse for the same effect. Head down this mountainside here, picking up this lone uh, rush room, because why not? And keep heading down. And it's very important that you actually get hit by that rock on the way down. It's vital to the strategy of this video. Anyway, keep going to the north end of the grove right here. First, we're gonna get some apples, which are not really that great, but they can be used as filler in your dishes to increase the duration of the effects. There are some more durians down here, which we'll take. Once you've got those, head down along the water, and beside this tree here will be two silent princesses. Silent princesses are a powerful ingredient in stealth boosting food, and are also used to upgrade the stealth set. Here's some more enduro carrots. These are a great stamina recovery food, so we're always glad to get some more. Some more silent princesses by that tree there. And now we're gonna head across the water. Make sure you get these silent shrooms, which are also used for uh, stealth food. And on the other side of this lake will be a bunch of fleet lotus seeds. These seeds are used for making speed bonus foods, so we'll take all we can get. And finally, behind this tree are two more princesses. Next up, we're heading for the Pumag Nitai Shrine in the Faran region. Here we'll be looking for mainly rush rooms and iron shrooms. From the shrine, get a quick hardy radish and an iron shroom. Head north along the mountain wall and pick up the rush rooms that you see. There's one here and one over there. Rush rooms are also used in making speed boosting foods and we'll use them in combination with the lotus seeds to get the maximum effect. On the other side of this tar pit here is a nice cluster of them. Rush rooms are also used for upgrading the climbing set, which I'm wearing right here. Once you've got those, head deeper into the forest, picking up all the iron shrooms that you see. These can be a bit hard to spot, so a good tip is to periodically stop and use your stasis power, which will highlight all the collectible items in the area. We'll be using Iron Shroom as our main ingredient in defense boosting foods. Also remember that you can take a picture of these and use the sensor function of your Sheikah Slate to make it easier to find them. Man, I really should just kill these enemies. I didn't want to for the sake of the video, but they're getting too annoying now.
Next up, for two awesome locations, head to the Farren Tower in the south. From the tower, look straight south and glide over to the plateau you see on the other side. And in this area, there's going to be a bunch of bananas. Well, actually, there's going to be many bunches of bananas. This must be like the holy site for the Yiga clan. We'll use these bananas to make attack boosting foods. Once you've got all the bananas on this side, you can head to the other side of this outpost here for some more bananas. And they are mighty. Warp back to the firing tower, and this time, instead, head north to this plateau here on the other side. These two lizards are apparently really excited about something, but unfortunately, they're in our way. Around this area are going to be a good number of durian trees, with the two durians on each of them. So just make your way around this whole plateau, picking up the durians that you find, as well as the mighty thistles that also grow here. Mighty Thistles are another attack boosting ingredient that we'll use in combination with our bananas. Once you've collected everything in the area, we're going to take a quick trip to the Niazioma Shrine in the Zora's Domain. This is a really easy location to get some more Fleet Lotus Seeds for the Speed Bonus effect. If you're not going to use the Speed Bonus effect that much, you can go ahead and skip this area. Finally, we're going to visit a couple of great fairies, starting with the one next to Kakariko village, and you can get there from the Talo Naig shrine. In the area around the great fairy fountain, you're going to find a lot of blue nightshade, which add a stealth bonus effect, and are also used to upgrade the stealth set. Behind the fountain are a couple of more Endura carrots, as well as some silent princesses. Now go through the rest of the area, collecting all the blue nightshade that you find. Also, there's another silent princess growing in the eastern part of this area. Once you've got all that, we're gonna head to the Tabantha Tower for another great fairy visit. If you haven't been there yet, Stand on top of the tower and head straight south. In this area, we're mainly looking for mighty thistles as well as a couple of silent princesses. There's also quite a bit of ore here if you want to mine it. Again, make your way around the area, picking up everything. Finally, head for the Akala Great Fairy and the Dahesho Shrine. Head over east to the Great Fairy. And here you're gonna find mainly Armoranth, which is another ingredient used for defense boosting foods. Also, make sure you check behind the fountain for some silent princesses. as well as a few more Endura Carrots. And those are all the ingredients that we need. Now we're gonna head on to the next part of the video where I'll show you the best recipes using these ingredients for all the different effects. And by the way, this is not the way to do it. But it is fun to watch. Anyway, Let's start by looking at the attack boosting recipes. Combining four mighty bananas will give you a level three attack boost for three minutes and 20 seconds. And combining three mighty bananas with one mighty thistle will yield the same result. While mixing two mighty bananas with three mighty thistles will give you a duration of four minutes and 10 seconds. By the way, for all these recipes that use three or four ingredients, you can mix in a fifth ingredient of either the same type or a neutral ingredient like apples, bird's eggs or dragon scales to increase the duration. Moving on to the defense foods, combining four iron shrooms will give you a level 3 defense boost for 3 minutes and 20 seconds. And combining three iron shrooms with one armorant will give the same result. 
combining two iron shrooms with three armorant will give you a duration of 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Moving on to the speed boosting foods, combining four fleet lotus seeds will give you a level 3 speed boost for 4 minutes. And combining three fleet lotus seeds with one rush room will give you the same result. Cooking two fleet lotus seeds with three rush rooms will give you a level 3 speed boost for 5 minutes. Now let's talk about health recovery and bonus hearts. Cooking a single hearty durian will fully recover your own hearts as well as give you four bonus hearts. While each extra durian you add to the dish will give you four additional bonus hearts, up to a maximum of 20 bonus hearts if you combine five durians. Stamina recovery and bonus stamina works the same way. Cook a single Endura carrot to fully restore your stamina as well as give you almost half a wheel extra and every Endura carrot you add will increase its effect up to 2 extra wheels of stamina at 5 carrots. You can also feed your horse an Endura carrot by dropping it on the ground and this will temporarily increase the horse's stamina. Moving on to stealth boosting foods, combining 3 silent princesses will give you a level 3 stealth boost for 6 minutes. Combining 2 silent princesses with 2 silent shrooms will give you a level 3 stealth boost for 8 minutes and the same is true if you combine 1 silent princess with 3 silent shrooms. While combining two silent princesses with three blue nightshades will give you a level 3 stealth boost for 10 minutes. And finally, you can combine one silent princess, two blue nightshades and two silent shrooms for a level 3 speed boost that lasts 10 minutes. You can also use other ingredients in these recipes. Let's say for example you have a lot of swift violets that you want to use. I'll explain in the description below how you can use those ingredients and still get a level 3 effect. As a final tip, Cooking your food during the last half hour before a blood moon will give you bonus effects. This bonus or critical effect can be several different things. The heart recovery of your dish can increase by 3, the effect level of your dish can increase by 1, or the duration of the effect can increase by 5 minutes. Dishes can always get critical effects like these, but during the blood moon it's guaranteed which makes it a great time to cook food. And that, as they say, is that. Thanks so much for watching my video and my attempt to simplify the cooking in this game. I did a lot of research for this one, so I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're interested in finding the locations of other ingredients or items in the game, let me know in the comment section. But for now, I hope you enjoy those mighty bananas and I will see you guys next time. Oh.